This video will demonstrate running a tournament using Tonamento, which means tournament in Japanese if you didn't know. First step is to go to the Tonamento website, tonamento.damdai.com, click the new tournament button. On the left you'll see a box to enter the entrance for this tournament. Mine is already filled out because Tonamento remembers the entrance that you entered for the last tournament. This is useful if you run several tournaments at one time or if the same players often enter your tournaments, you don't have to re-enter them every time. The order at which you enter the entrance determines their seating. Or you can click the randomize seeds button to shuffle them all around. When you're ready, click the start tournament button. This is the page where you will run the actual tournament. There are no other pages to go to and no reloading that will be necessary. Everything is updated in real time. First thing you'll probably want to do is change the name of this tournament. Simply click the name. It will be untitled by default. Enter the new name and press enter. This is the entrance list. If you need to make adjustments for any of the entrance names, simply click their name and make your adjustment and then press enter. From this box you can add any late entrance as long as there are slots still available. By mousing over the text box you can see the number of slots that are currently available. In this case there are seven. Enter a player and you can see the slots are now down to six. The number of slots available is determined by how far you've progressed in the current bracket. This is the list of matches that can be played currently. When the match is over, simply select a winner by clicking the player's name. Any matches that have been played will show up in the match history list. If you made a mistake in selecting a winner, just undo that match and select the correct winner. Up here you can see your progress and estimated time remaining until the tournament completes. If you need to make any major adjustments to the entrance list or if more players have arrived then there are late entry slots available, simply cancel the tournament and add the new players. This is the actual bracket. Highlighting a user's name anywhere in the bracket will highlight their name everywhere in the bracket, which will give a quick visual indication of how that player did. I'll quickly run through this tournament till the end so you can see how fast everything is. There's no reloading. You can see the placements were uh, updated in real time. Nice little icons for first, second, and third. If you click your username at the top of the page, you can see a list of all tournaments that you've ever ran.
And from the home page, you can also see a list of your tournaments. Messing over them will show you the date they were created, and you have an option to delete any of them. That's it.